Hello, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session Thursday, 29th of December 2016. Okay, folks, let's uh, try and give you a summary of today's uh, events. Basically, um, it's the same old, uh, same old trading sideways, potentially or mostly, uh, in terms of the actual uh, market data today. Asian markets overnight, we had the Nikkei certainly down, minus 1.3%, led lower by the USD JPY as the yen starts to rise. Uh, the Nikkei down 250 odd points. You had the Hang Seng slightly higher, the Shanghai more or less flat, really down six points. In terms of European markets, European market closed really, it's a FTSE still stellar, I mean, still finishing above 7,100, very impressive. Okay, mainly led by the uh, the actual uh, uh, weakness in sterling to a large extent and obviously light volume as well given the fact that only 11% of the volume which, which was traded over the like, last 90 days so the 90 day average it was 11% of that actual volume so it was favoring to the upside the German DAX certainly finishing negative the CAC as well along as the uh, euro stocks FTSE MIG certainly lower as well as banking concerns certainly dominant okay now in terms of US markets certainly seeing weakness there as well with the Nasdaq touching 4900 certainly flushing from the highs okay please be sure to visit trade signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com you can download the uh, the actual uh, app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store okay now in terms of news of news events for the European session virtually non-existent okay we had some money supply data but nothing really major in terms of market moving uh, US data we've had jobless claims actually higher than expected okay wholesale inventories as well slightly beating expectations uh, trade balance coming in on the weaker side okay uh, and now and that really is it uh, in terms of oil we've had oil certainly weaker today below 54 uh, after switching 54.3 the pivot high okay Aussie Kiwi certainly holding in there certainly remaining strong after yesterday's weak uh, economic data out the US so two uh, obviously two days of weak economic data from the US certainly exerting pressure on the downside Okay, now in terms of uh, European markets, like I said, lackluster, nothing major. Let's just go over the actual uh, index movements uh, regardless. Now, looking at the daily chart of the German DAX at present, really we're in the um, in daily chart. No, you can't really read anything from the daily, to be honest with you, from a large extent. Although you do have a horizontal resistance level, the next resistance zone is at 10.610. Whether or not we can actually sustain that move is in the question. Now, the only, I think, real uh, movement or fundamental movement in the uh, European session is the euro. We had quite a lot of strength in the uh, euro today. Uh, I mean, pretty impressive strength in the euro. You did you did have an inverted head and shoulders formation, which I highlighted. But from my perspective, the base certainly is being built or has been built on the euro. Okay, if you look at the weekly chart as well. Okay, certainly a base being built there on the weekly chart, so therefore a stronger argument for a, uh, a potential push higher. Now, if you do go higher, then you are looking at resistance below previous support around the 1.05 zone. So certainly keep an eye out for that. Four hour chart coming into turbulent zone, coming into the turbulent zone. Okay, four hour chart certainly support held. Okay, and certainly looking to potentially bounce it. And that obviously is negative for the European equities. But again, given the fact that the light volume certainly is in play, okay, the market really is ignoring that to a large extent, okay. Now, in terms of the European uh, equities, once again, 60-minute chart, the German DAX, as you can see, that uh, zone certainly has been built. We did have a flush overnight, but we certainly recaptured uh, that to a large extent, okay. So looking for a lower high here. 10-minute chart, we actually um, pushed higher, okay. So you are looking at uh, potential resistance here. The gap certainly didn't fill, so that's interesting. Okay, so keep an eye on that. 11.475 is gap fill. Even with light volume, etc., we still failed to fill that gap. So again, certainly keep an eye on the next potential level there. Now, previous support equals resistance on the German DAX. So again, we actually did hold that pretty well at 10 for 11.460. 11.475 is gap fill. So German DAX certainly remains weak on the 60-minute chart. We failed to make a higher high. Uh, obviously uh, triple top quadruple top certainly is in and now we're looking for a lower high so all eyes on the lower high in the german dax in terms of weakness below okay looking moving on to the french cac now let's go to the daily chart first and foremost daily chart at the moment no real volume okay so again it has continued to push higher given the light volume 60 minute chart at the moment you did have this hns formation the french cac certainly has failed to play out okay uh, for now French CAC really is about that base, that's all that resistance zone at 4850 that's been built and now looking at the next potential move. Okay, so let's see exactly where we're going from here. Okay, uh, 10 minute chart now. Okay, so 10 minute chart itself, we did push or we did actually break a move higher from the lower level. 
uh, for the French CAC, certainly gapping down overnight given the weakness in the S&P and the uh, the Nasdaq. Okay, and that, that weakness certainly persists and, and it remains. Okay, with the Nasdaq back at 4907. So no real uh, light volume float up moves on the uh, US market. So again, looking for resistance here. Okay, intraday we still we did actually fail to uh, close the gap above. So again, that was a key zone to potentially short and take advantage of the move lower. Okay, so again, you're looking at that gap above here at 4850. That uh, gap certainly remains unfilled. Okay. So weakness in European equities, that's really is a summation, okay? In terms of the FTSE 100, no weakness here at all. Certainly strength, if you look at the weekly chart, we still seem to be attacking that key zone at 7122, 7120. Looking at the daily chart, again, looking at the daily chart, and you are into horizontal resistance, attacking that zone again, okay, of resistance. Uh, looking at the 60 minute chart, again, thrusting higher, attacking that key of resistance zone. Certainly no, um, no reprieve here on the FTSE 100 okay so again rem certainly remains very bullish and the market certainly seems to be steaming ahead 10 minute chart again the wall of resistance at 7110 7110 is your wall of resistance we're certainly holding support here at uh, 7100 and uh, support here at 7075 so again we'll, it'll be interesting to see how this uh, unfolds given especially given the fact that US markets certainly are showing a weakness okay certainly showing a lot of weakness in terms of u.s markets no nobody's certainly bidding the markets higher in terms of european markets let's just have a look here european euro stocks 50 again uh, the unfilled gap remains uh, daily chart really putting in a doji certainly showing uh, exhaustion on the move higher 60 minute chart again no higher high or lower highs and lower lows okay so again looking for a lower low 10 minute chart we failed to close the gap above at 3278 and therefore the argument certainly is for the market to move lower so certainly bearish from my perspective certainly bearish and uh, looking for weakness okay so uh, european stocks certainly weak FTSE certainly showing immense strength even the FTSE 250 as well showing immense strength as well on the daily chart once we can load this up okay bear with me let's quickly go to the daily or should we, should we shift to the weekly Okay, so weekly again, launching an assault on that key resistance zone. Okay, daily chart as well. So FTSE, remarkably, given the fact, obviously, oil prices are remaining afloat. We've had the dollar moving lower as well. That certainly is helping the FTSE to a large extent and keeping the FTSE afloat. So that should be interesting going forward, okay, especially into the new year. Do we hold that 7120 resistance or do we actually break higher? Okay, so FTSE is trading very impressively, even with Brexit concerns in the background. And obviously, it is being helped to a large extent for a weaker sterling as well okay that certainly seems to be a summation folks uh, in terms of the move let's just quickly look at oil the oil price is certainly a la lackluster today certainly uh, failing to actually consist uh, uh, cons persist with the move higher we have held fib 75 percent you are looking for that right shoulder so certainly watch out for weakness below it'll be interesting to see how that plays out on that note, folks, uh, again, tomorrow really is probably the last day in terms of trading. It's a half day as well. We're not really going to see much action tomorrow. It's really sleepless, um, sleepless in Seattle, as they say. So it's really going to be a snooze fest. And uh, the real action really will start next week. OK, it'll be interesting to see how the markets unfold. OK, but for now, certainly is a snooze, snooze fest. But U.S. markets certainly are showing weakness, especially on the uh, S&P 500. If I just quickly give you an insight on the S&P 500 here. I think all the trading really is in the US markets at the moment, European markets are just dead because we are seeing some movements on the downside. Look at the daily chart broken out that bullish channel, okay, even with light volume, okay. We've actually closed the gap now. I'm actually long at this junction, by the way, 22.46 at gap fills. So certainly looking for a pop higher here now on the SP, so into gap fill support. Uh, we failed to uh, hold the key support here. Okay, and now we're actually going lower from 2050, 22.55. So certainly held gap fill, uh, looking for, well, certainly expecting to hold gap fill and certainly looking for a move uh, higher from here. If we do fail that, then obviously you are going down, down to the 200 MA to close that, to, to hit that 200 MA uh, support below. So that should be interesting. Okay. All right, folks, I think that's a good summation of European equities. Uh, US FTSE certainly showing immense strength. Again, the wall of resistance at 7,120. Uh, European markets certainly are showing signs of weakness. And uh, no real follow through, especially given the fact that the euro certainly has surged higher. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.